Oh, hello there! So, fam, it's Richie from Social reinstating my passport because it's not safe around these parts. I need to get out of town. Right? Right, Scorn? Right. Speaking of Scorn, cats, Segway, Melanie Martinez, this morning, a few hours ago, released a brand new song, which is very surprising because she releases music at a glacial pace. Like like a lot of great artists, at least artists that I'm a fan of, uh, they, they, they generally release albums between two to five years to to never they never really they break up and then they die we all die Melanie Martinez generally takes uh, between albums around three to five years long time for for each batch of songs between 10 and 15 songs and late last year she did the K through 12 album and movie music videos for every single song on that record very ambitious I enjoyed it very much uh, so much so I went to the premiere of K through 12 and to my surprise this morning she dropped a brand new track, audio, not music video. Let's not, let's not get crazy here, although I'm sure there, there might be a music video for it down, down the line. It's called Copycat, not to be confused with the Billie Eilish track. Copycat, the comment section of this video will, will let you know that uh, by, by force if necessary. <sighs> and the art for this video, uh... Kind of reminds me of, uh, if Polly Pocket and the recent movie Cats, uh... You know what I'm saying? Just... Yeah, like that, that. And I think the most interesting thing, just by glancing at this video before listening to it, is that it has a feature on it. Tierra Wack, who uh, I've, I've actually never heard of, although I think she's fairly popular. I'm just out of the loop. Melanie Martinez, pretty much, I don't think she's ever done a, she might have done one. To my knowledge, off the top of my head, she's never done a feature on a track. I commend an artist that can stand on their own two feet, their own merit, through their own songwriting. They don't need to load up on a bunch of features unless the song makes sense for it. So clearly, Melanie thought this song made sense for Tierra Whack. So uh, let's, let's have a listen real quick and I can give you my thoughts on it, whether uh, I like it or not. I didn't hate it. <laughs> I wasn't a huge fan of of the uh, the stock cat sounds throughout throughout the track. I know that the track's called Copycat. The themes are very similar to the track she did a while back, uh, Piggyback, which I believe was about Timothy Heller, although it could just be about uh, being an awful friend. But the title of the song is essentially what the song's about: somebody copying and falling flat. You're a copycat. You you, you get the idea. Uh, but as far as the feature with with Tiara Wack. Um, I think it did fit, it did, but I'm like, I'm hesitant. And this could be because I'm just not used to hearing other people in Melanie Martinez's music. Like, I, I feel like it's a little unfair just to say that, oh, well, if it's not Melanie on Melanie's track, then it doesn't work. Uh, but at the same time, I, I don't know, I, I like wasn't, I, I wasn't instantly blown away by it. It just felt like it was a feature just to, have a feature on the bridge. She wasn't incorporated in anywhere else in the song. Like, I always love it when there's a feature on a song, but they're not just on the bridge. Maybe they're doing harmonies in a chorus, or maybe they add a vocal line in the intro, or something. Like, it just, it, it felt a, like, I don't want to say phoned in because that's super negative, but it, it did feel like she was just quarantined to the one section. The instrumental is very Melanie Martinez with the plucks. I always enjoy that. Her vocals sound very solid. This, uh, I could see why she didn't put this on K through 12 directly because thematically I don't think it would necessarily make sense with that whole school theme because this is not directly in that and I think she's working on an EP but overall I like it. I don't love it and I think Melanie Martinez generally works better without features, although I kind of understand why she would try and venture out with features, mainly just to diversify the song, make it sound a little different, because sometimes the songs can sound a teeny bit samey, like a teeny bit, but overall, I really like it. Uh, the link is below if you're interested in hearing the track. Obviously, I can't show it on this channel, uh, and please let me know 
what you think and uh, what you think the direction she's going to go in. I think a really funny thing that she said at, at her premiere, actually, the, the Q&A after her K-12 through premiere, she was saying that she had three other albums, or two or three other albums, like, already written, and she had all the concepts done, and I was kind of afraid that she was gonna go from a crybaby to K-12, through and now, uh, crybaby's in college, and now she's an adult, and now she's, uh, in, in a nursing home, and then she dies, and it's afterlife, and that's, like, the entire span of Melanie Martinez's discography, but she said she wasn't gonna do that, and she was gonna focus more on, like, the supernatural stuff, uh, which is interesting, like, I'm interested to see where she goes with it. Yeah, stay sad, but not too sad. And if you're interested in a further deep dive into my channel and behind the scenes and kind of what I'm doing uh, with my original music and releases and sneak peeks, you can check out my Patreon. Stay sad but not too sad. Mwah!